Good morning ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mac Tightwad uh, had a covert spot today, uh, got David Frears who is, uh, could make it, quite unusual, it's during the week, um, and uh, Marty Cuff, glad I spoke to him because he said yeah I'll shoot over, and I've got a, another friend here, it's the first time he's been out with us, um, but obviously for very good reasons he doesn't want to be on film, um, yeah, um, chair's still good, table works, just had a little brew as you do, bushcraft cookies went down really well, and uh, obviously David Fair's um, Bushcraft Trade Post got himself a, well he likes the Bergham, nothing to do with rear, me rear mirrors, uh, brand new, not a mark on it, 80 quid, job done. Um, like I said, uh, last time Arcus had a sale we got a couple of free smocks off him, and uh, there is some here um, I want to show you, highly bloody impressive, Is uh, it's made out of the same canvas, but he's made himself a uh, patch for his brew kit. This Casada set. I'm not going to start pulling other people's kit about. And when you do that, obviously there's a hexy stove in there. He really has got um, everything, and that's all for the brew kit set aside. And obviously there's a pouch inside a pouch. He's sort of uh, obviously been watching some of my videos. And inside there goes the complete Crusader kit you see there. Absolutely. And obviously the fuel bottle at the back in that pouch. The pouch inside a pouch absolutely cracking bit of kit and uh, yeah we can most definitely say it's got a, a shoulder strap on there d-rings I mean it's a flat piece of material David really has got the uh, ha hang of uh, sewing stuff up because I'll tell you what um, if you bought that professionally you would look just be loving that there's nothing absolutely cracking bit of kit mate nice little design pockets on the outside for bits and bobs D-rings and like I say uh, like a lot of you guys um, made his own power cord sh shoulder straps for it and that yeah and he um, the old bush guard tray post it came up there and a uh, bloke was selling it wanted 100 quid and uh, I tagged um, David uh, and uh, he come online because he gets a alert on his phone or something and aggled and David said he can't aggle but he got it for 80 quid almost brand new not a mark on it and he's uh, loving that. But I'll tell you what I'm really loving. I like that, that old pouch he made. Nice one. Yeah, we just uh, got here, had a brew. And, uh, ladies and gents, something I just want to... We've been having a bit of a discussion here. We've been here about an hour so far. What you can see here, uh, as far as I know, is an authentic United States um, um, tent. Me and David have just put up. It comes David now. And... Uh, Cracking bit of kit this mate, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's very light. Yeah, it is. Lot light. lightweight um, canvas tent. Um, obviously, I think World War Two. Mm, usable. Yeah, it's just been stored. I'll tell you the stories behind this. Um, uh, uh, really nice lady I work with. She was up in Northumberland clearing out a dad's garage, and uh, she found this. Uh, had a quick look at it, and then uh, thought of me, which was really nice of her. Um, it is totally authentic, even to the proper poles, where, um, you know, they, these fold down, and there's a little sleeve that drops down. I don't know if you can see that little sleeve, but everything's authentic, oh, everything's there. Um, we'll just put that up. It'll take long, mate, doesn't it? And uh, there's two things about it, though. I think that's a scout insignia, maybe a unit insignia. Uh, I don't know, but my um, feeling on this is, uh, and the lady said, well, I just sort of, I know you do your sewing up and that, and you can just use the material for anything you want, but I think, and I think the, the lads I'm here with, uh, it would be a shame to uh, have something in this really good condition that comes from, obviously, World War Two Korea-type era. Um, and here we see the US, obviously. It's uh, all the kit was shared amongst the allies so this could be British anybody Canadian anybody could have had this and again it's got another one of them insignias there but it's in absolutely extremely good nick I don't know what's under that plaster maybe a little hole but um, if that, that that can easily be repaired um, I say it's a dome at one open at the other side I would imagine each guy carried one half 
on one pole, if that makes sense. Huge great bloody thing it is. And I mean seriously, if you took away the poles, it, 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 it's not very heavy at all. Certainly very carryable, you know, like man portable. Um, I mean obviously, I uh, don't know. What I'm thinking is that, as it's genuine and it's in such good nick and they're so rare, it would be a crying shame for me to start either mucking about with this, modding this or doing anything with this. So what is on my mind to do, people, is um, I know like James, the bushcraft blacksmith, he does uh, the reenacting, or, you know, he keeps history alive like a lot of these guys do. And I think um, the lady that sort of fought with me and brought this down for me, I think her dad would really uh, love to know that that tent is but he's had for just years and years has gone to uh, people that will make use of it to be perfectly honest um it's authentic it's old style so that that's on my mind uh of what i'm actually going to do with this um i mean it's got some lightweight canvas if i wanted to use some stuff but i mean that could be set up as a baker tent all sorts but um yeah so uh, really really happy with this um I, mean, it, I say it was a gift I've sort of given her something um, just for thinking of me and uh, bringing it down for me but yeah I've got a authentic World War 2 Korean era um, two person what are they pup tents I would imagine but yeah I'm going to give you another look at the old insignia I think that's scout insignia but yeah, what to do with this? What to do with this? Do we sort of uh, contact some reenactors and make sure it gets used by the right people, if that makes sense? Uh, sort of certainly on my mind, not made a decision as of yet. But anyway, ladies and gents, what a cracking bit of kit. And I tell you what, this um, the material is so lightweight, it's unbelievable. But strong, really strong. A couple of little marks on it. It's unusual for it not to, you know, the mice or rats that have got it if it's been in a shed. Well, I shouldn't think these are uh, too many of these left. So, if anybody's got any, um, I know a lot of you are history buffs, same as myself, um, any ideas on this, what it is, who would have had it, who would have used it, you know, please drop them in the old uh, comments box. And like I say, it's uh, heavily on my mind that this should go to people who do the reenacting or living history if that makes sense rather than just me using it as a bushcraft tent you know what I may do is lay it down and use it just replicate it but using um, sort of some, some, some camouflage material um, that suits sort of me um, and again that will make it superfluous and I can just uh, make sure somebody who's into properly into the reenacting or living history as I like to um, like to call it will get a nice little result there but anyway uh, Marty's over there and he's uh, just in his bed I think Dave's just chilling oh, yes, mate. just saying there mate I was ever so impressed with your uh, um, pouch that you did I did just give it a quick film nice one yeah nice package on oh. and the old uh, Bergen you had a nice little result on that mate didn't you yeah <laughs> <laughs> have you got that little thing you sewed up you know like your fire kit mate your fire kit yeah because that's fucking a smart little bit of kit and show well you very inventive mate it's a nice little way of just carrying the two two tins wasn't it show you that because you made that and it's just had a lot of soft gloving leather isn't it yeah because it's like old well i say old style right i can get it open there yeah open too tight but yeah it's, it's quite easy to make Cool, I'm doing wrong. Here we go. And there's the two tins in there, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's nice, mate. It? Scratchy, you know, putting them together like that's quite an easy way of Rove. like keeping them together. Yeah. Um, well, I like the way you do because me, I, I, I would fast X back on everything, mate. <laughs> you know, but you sort of. No, so. Well, he's like looking at what you got, and uh, I've yeah. tried this. I had bought a couple of them. Yeah. And. Uh, you were just seeing how old it was to get off, so it holds it nice and tight. Tight, yeah. And um, just walk away. Even the small, the, the fine details you do, mate, yeah. That'll fit anywhere, innit? Yeah. In it. In it, in it. <laughs> and uh, obviously, knife porn. You made that sheath, mate, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, nice bit of Kydex in then. Oh. oh. 
But no, the uh, this the, this this project was of course it, it was they're not serious. It's quite hard to do. It's not so much. It's that work process of when you, you have an idea of what you want, yeah. but trying to put that into actual. You know, and you have to plan ahead and all the things because yeah. once it's there you can't sew in afterwards but it's, it's like everything the next one will be a lot quicker and a lot easier mate well, I don't it? know if it'll be a next one <laughs> <laughs> well I wouldn't see no that's a cracking bit of kit there mate no, no, it's, no. It's, 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 it's heavy duty yeah. you know I wanted yeah. one of the little stoves in the front here as well yeah. so you know, it goes in there yeah. quite nicely um it takes a whole Crusader kit, doesn't it? Yeah, which, which takes is down there. Yeah. the uh, hard cover and yeah. even that cup on top. So. Yeah, for a bottle. You know, I've, I've sewed in these little bits on the side. I could take them out if you want, but I didn't want yeah. it too loose. Yeah, no, the top. You've made a nice job of that, mate, and, you know, you're yeah. definitely an accomplished sewer rapper right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And there your own scales on there and that, mate. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do prefer it now. It's been done. Yeah. It's more of a knife that I wanted it to be. Nothing yeah. wrong with the plastic ones. But no, no. You, well, you take stuff, mate, yeah. and you, you make it your own, don't you? Yeah, exactly. oh, well, that's what you know. You alter it and change things around. It's your yeah. own liking, you know. Yeah. Uh, but the sheath was not very good. That come with them. It blunt. Every time you take it in there, it would blunt the knife. On the original sheath, yeah. yeah Maybe yeah. the same, like yeah. So that, well, that was quite. We've made a nice quite, job of that, quite mate. Quite happy yeah. with that, was. Because yeah. you're gonna have a little. Um, Go with my MOD yeah, swipe or not? Yeah. Once over. Yeah. Cheers, mate. And you've got carte blanche on that. Just do do what you want because they well come back as a neck knife. <laughs> 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 yeah, and you'll have like <laughs> um like um Matty Vandal neck knife. Yeah, like um, big Arnold Schwarzenegger, mate. My son's getting rid of all that metal, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, I did do though, ladies and gents. Um, obviously the old um I say airborne forces, Bergen, just for want of a better description. Sorry, is um. I've uh, brought that out with me today because uh, what I've done is um, it's only 20 quid, uh, something like that, something really daft. I've uh, got an, a brand new Alice Pack straps for it, which are far better straps than the ones that it had because it had cargo straps on it. But also the um, Alice Pack um, waist belt and pad there, just covered that in. There was a reasonable bit of weight in that, and that's um, no problem whatsoever. Very easy to put on in the same way as you do an Alice Pack, and uh, the little knots down at the bottom. And uh, so I think I'm about well, 28 quid in so far. Mm. On that, yeah, 28 quid in for a cracking little Bergen. And what I can do, I've uh, I'm not going to put fast X clips to join it. It ties up at the front with these in them little holes. Um, again, not going to alter it because um, even last night I looked at these and they're like going for and actually selling for 90 to 100 quid that's in almost brand new nick that is mate so you want to yeah keep it traditional yeah just keep it as it is yeah. yeah i can put everything back on it nothing's been cut or shut on it and it's a huge great big bergen so what i mean it's heavy, about heavy material yeah it? yeah it's like the precursor of um what's that 1987 on there yeah does it say that mate yeah yeah so i couldn't believe that i found that three quid at a boot fair you see who it's made by Who's it, who's it made by? CQC, that rucksack I've got. Oh, right. Yeah, look, CQC. Oh, that's, the, that's the Alpine one. The, yeah. Yeah, the 60 quid. That's a cracking sack, yeah. mate, yeah. Made by the same people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't sort of, but it does say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it actually says rucksack SAS CQC, yeah, 19... 1987. Probably won't come out there with a NATO number on it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure anybody would have been, anybody would have scratched that bit out, like, because they all go in sterile, them guys, don't they? In fact, I know that they do, but yeah, rucksack. Well, it is coming out, CQC 1987, and that's just been stored, mate. That, you can just tell that's not been out in the field, oh, no, no. No, no. so yeah, three quid. And uh, yeah, it's a piece of you know, history, and that again, uh, the reenactors and all them guys sort of pay for that, mate. And uh, they're still, even in this day and age, there's up right that them Bergens are still operation, operational because uh, they're, they're ones that you can actually carry with a set of webbing, mate, and they're cracking bits of kit. Anyway, ladies and gents, yeah, I've just uh, up, 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 upgraded that a little bit, but not to the point where it can't be put back to its original configuration. Eat. Again, it's uh, well, autumn now, so I'm sure as we go along, the canopy will start disappearing.
made short work of that mate didn't it yeah you got an idea for something I, mean? I don't know I just thought it would be a bit of a spoon you know what I mean yeah. it would be a bit of a spoon project it's got a nice bits of wood in it yeah Well, I'll tell you what, mate, if it's good, um, I'll have the other side. Yeah, you have the other big, you yeah. said you wanted them. Yeah, just a... Uh, just, I'm not going to do a big one, last time no. I made it too bloody big. It took forever to make, you know what I mean? Just yeah. quick. Chuck it together, spoon. Looks a lot, actually, which is quite nice. Yeah. Nah, nice one. Alright, ladies and gents, uh, may or may not bring you back, I don't know. Um, but uh, Marty's over there doing some adjusting on the, the bed frame that he made previously and uh, yeah I'm really happy with that tent but you know that's uh, as I say uh, I might see this go to somebody doing the reenacting and all that sort of kit because when you get a bit of kit that's this good and in this good nick it shouldn't be mucked about with or you know tight would start cutting it up just because he wants a bit of canvas or whatever because I can replicate this I'm going to build one of these exactly to the same dimensions out of new materials thus I would imagine that will be passed on to somebody who does the old living history and I'm sure Kaz is, uh, sorry, well, the lady that bought it down uh, for me and thought of me, which was really nice of her, her dad would have loved to know, and that's now being used at military shows and, you know, living history, which is what I call it. So on that, ladies and gents, take care and uh, I may see you later. Take in there. Yeah. Send do that, mate. Mike's just doing a few mods on these... Uh, bed now obviously You've widened it yeah widened it a little bit so we don't need the poles and uh, you've just gone for some of that gas wire mate that we had yeah. and uh yeah i've made it a little bit higher this this end because i like the you know your head end a bit yeah. higher yeah i'll test the poles now i think right bring you back ladies and gents and uh Make sure it all goes up again. Hang on, mate. Hang on. Oh, right, got it. So I'll put me thigh against that. Job done. Looks a bit low this side, doesn't it? They could be just the ground, mate, couldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you dropped a, a piece of paracord from that just to the bottom, and then that, you know, because the undulating ground will give you a different sort yeah. of perspective. Well, if it is, mate, you can just um, adjust it a bit. A little knotty bits off. Again, okay, it's just nice to be out in the old forest, mate, isn't it? On an autumn, wet, bingy day, but... I actually love it when well, it's a bit wet and cold and a bit windy. But ladies and gents, this is the, the uh, tempo, it even says United States, can't really make out any numbers there, but we're just saying about the old workmanship from years ago, you just don't see it now, look. The little hinges, the pins.
just put a tiny little bit of vegetable oil on that. Or olive oil, mate, won't it? Just these. You'll just not see stuff like that anymore. It's a shame, really. It's, uh, it's nothing fresh, not fancy, but bloody works. There's your, there's your pole. So he's he got the tent up, that. But yeah, just like a little bit of piece of history. Get old in your hands. Job done. Bit heavy for today, but I have. Right, ladies and gents. I haven't done that much for them in, but don't care because, uh, well, I think carving has been the uh, order of the day, hasn't it? Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah. A bit of woody work. Yeah. And I've got some, lots of decent bits of wood that I can take home and, you know, season it and then bring it back and start doing the bits and bobs. But yeah, we'll get the old uh, log back in there and, uh, oh. another day, well, time goes quickly when you're having fun, doesn't it, lads? Look, you you're very much two matching twins there. I might just call you Ubi and Dooby. <laughs> Get the old pack in. <laughs> you had a result on that boy, didn't you? Yeah, it's alright. I like it. It's just lightweight. You take it even to that, it's really light. No, if I ever get round to making a burger, mate, it's not going to be too indifferent from that. It's every now, yeah. But I always go through every stuff. It's heavy now. Me. But I like the big side pouches and all that, mate. I would prefer just me see see the side pouch yeah. to have one of them at the back, mate, as opposed to the smaller pack. Well, Small and then I would use that as a uh, like a shelter pouch, you know. Yeah. If I ever I've got some of the ATAC material just coming through, and if I ever do make my own Bergen, and you know, it's, uh, it's going to be like three big pouches, um, so you can get in and out easy. That's a lovely little crud. Uh, yeah, but that's the whole point of it. Bit of gear for it's eighty quid. Sort of just basic pack. That's why it's so light. It's no yeah. like you know putting it's poles on. His drawing has got how to pack that. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, right. Mm. And it's in one of the books. Oh, right. In I'll one have of his books. That. We'll have to have a look. Yeah, because he, he he sort of done the diagram, and obviously the stuff in a certain ways he packed it. Right. And then obviously easy to get to first, and then the bottom was your sleeping bit. Yeah, I'll have this, I'll see, I had the tarp and all that shit on one side mm. I've got there at the moment. Food and forks on the other side. Um, that one, uh, hats and gloves and stuff there. Yeah. Necessities. Hmm. But it does go quite a bit higher, well. Right, anyway, ladies and gents, uh, covert spot still here. Make sure I don't catch my guest on cam. Ubi and Doobie. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Don't be like matching twins, like uh, separated at birth on that. That, ladies and gents, had a cracking little day, so uh, take they care always and. Uh, they always do that. Well, the be lucky to everybody. It's goodbye from me. Sorry, bye from me. Bye from me. And bye from the gentleman on my left hand side. Take care, ladies and gents.